hi guys today i'm going to teach you about matlab deep network designer app this matlab deep network designer app used to develop a deep neural network model in matlab without any coding we can just drag and drop the layers and connect it and we can construct a new deep neural network model so no need of writing any coding so i'll show you how to so do that one in MATLAB. You just to open the MATLAB, then in command window you can type it as deep network designer and just put enter. So you can see a screen. It's the MATLAB deep network designer application. So in that, just you click this blank networks, the new network. So so once you clicked you can see a blank window so what is the main use of this network designer application is so no need to write the coding before we will write the coding and we will train it so here no need to write the coding for constructing the network just we can drag and drop all the layers and we can connect it so just a simple I am going to design a simple neural network model so anyway for designing a first neural network model the first layer is the input layer so here the left you can see the left side different number of layer is there input layer convolution layer lst and everything so left side the two library is there layer li layer library in that you can see all the different type of layers which is used for constructing a network so first so first in order to design a network first layer is the image input layer so you just drag it and drop it here so what type of uh, classification i am going to do means i am going to do the classification in satellite images i have taken three classes city building desert and forest so if you if you open that one this is the city building this is the desert and this is the forest so i am going to classify this images only it will tell it will tell us whether it is buildings or forest or desert area so first layer is the image input layer it's a simple neural network i'm going to design and the second layer is the convolution layer you just drag it there so i design one convolution layer and the third layer is the activation layer activation layer is the relu layer rectified linear unit you you just drag it here and another third layer is the max pooling layer so max pooling 2d layer i'm drawing it so now the first set of convolution layer is completed so again another convolution layer i'm using second set of convolution layer and again i'm using that uh, activation function that is relu layer and finally i need to connect uh, i need to use the fully connected layer so fully connected layer so we have to search it whether where it is fully if you are not finding means we can type it here fully connected layer we can drag it here after fully connected layer another layer is the soft max layer and the final layer is the classification layer so it's a simple neural network only consists of two convolution layers so now we drag it and drop it here after that we need to connect this layer you just click here and connect to the next layer the first layer is the input layer second layer is the convolution layer so you connect it one by one simply we can click there automatically it will connect to the connect to the next layer 
so now the layer construction is completed so after that I need to import this data so generally what we will do we will write the coding for all these layers first we will I'll write the code for image input layer and convolution layer we will give the uh, how many number of layers we need to use and how many filter size everything will be giving here no need to give anything just drag it and route, uh, drag it and put it here so if you want any uh, uh, parameters if you want to change means you just click it here you can see the right side input size normalization how much and the layer name everything you can see it in the right side if you double click it the convolution layer also now filter size number of filters if you if i want to change the number of filters me i can change it here so automatically it will change it here then relook activation function like that max pooling how many stride is there everything so after constructing these layers i am going to uh, import this layer to the matlab editor window generally what we will do we will write the coding in the matlab editor window and we will run it here no need to write any coding just drag it and drop it there and connect all the all those layers and just import to the editor window so there is one option is there sorry not import export option is there export so before that we can analyze this one so once you click this we can analyze whether any disconnection is there all the parameters are given correctly everything it is analyzed is so it will take time so i am not giving that option directly I am exporting to the MATLAB editor window so there is three option will be there export generate code so what should I do I want to generate the code only so just I am clicking this one generate code so automatically it's generating the code based upon this design network so now it's generating the live script so it's a simple one if you don't know about this deep neural network or deep learning you can use this network design app so nothing but if you want to generate a new network means directly you can drag it and drop it there and you can import it there automatically you can see it there it will come in the matlab command window uh, that uh, editor window so untitled to mlx now it's exporting all the data to the matlab editor window it will take little time because it has to analyze it and it has to load it there okay now we can see the generated code in the editor and what happened let's see how how our design is you can see layers equal to what happened input layer convolution first convolution relu max pooling convolution relu fully content soft max and classification these are the layers we have designed there so after designing just plotted we have plotted that layers also so automatically it will come here now the construction is over now we need to run it whether how the design layer was so just to go to the live editor then just click the run so you can see the left side it's running now the script is running you can see the pause option also here so it started to run now I design a simple network like that we can design a complex network also now it's running is going on yeah now it's completed 
in the right side you can see the layers what what are the layers we design in the network application everything is comes here so if you maximize means you can see that the first is the image input convolution relu max pooling convolution relu and fully connected so all the layers is comes here what we design in that network application so now we want to do uh, we need to do the training so now the design uh, uh, this one that layer creation is over now we need to train the data so we need to train the data first we need to feed the data to here so in order to feed the data before that we need to save this uh, matlab file save us Mm, go to the desktop I'm going to save it here now I need to load the data so here is the data so I created one folder in the name of database then inside the data set we can have three folders so first we need to load this data so some command is there for loading data then is the imds just uh, loading data so now to loading the data image data store should be there after that we need to train the data so for that training option should be there here just we are loading our position of data then we are providing the training options then we training the model then we are giving any one of the input then it's classifying the our input whether it is building or a desert area or uh, this one forest like that so before that we need to give the path of the matlab root just to copy and paste it here now i'm going to run the program everything is completed now we got the layers and this one we loaded our input data here also the training option is given and the network has to be training here then we are giving our input reading our input then classify so now i'm going to run the program just again go to this one run so it started to run here we can see it here in the left side one error came that means train data so train data is not available so here we have to put this imds instead of this train data So I am DS. So this is the variable for storing all the data. So once I am running, yeah, another error is coming. L graph, undefined L graph. So here L graph is there. Actually, our layer, our design network variable is layers. So just replace this one by layers. then run it so i have given number of iteration uh, number of epoch 10 so it started to run from 1 to 10 Yeah now, yeah, now the training is completed. If you see this one, you can find the training progress and the training accuracy. So in the line number 36, I am giving the test2.jpg. 
so we are getting the corresponding output it's the building like that we can give test 2 test 3 test 4 like that so once i'm uh, once i'm once again i'm explaining just to open this designer model so load all the layers and just connect it there then export it then provide the this one uh, data just to load the data and give the training option and the train the data then give the input you will get the output so it's it's the easiest way no need to write anything no need to write any coding just with the help of this application we can make the and uh, deep neural network model simply also we can um, construct a complex network model also so layer is everything is there just to drag it and drop it out that's all so i hope you understand everything so if any doubt you can ask me so see you in the next video thank you thanks for watching